everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Après nous, le déluge. There we go. Said it right in one go. I impressed myself. Um, <laughs> and where we left off, we were slowly starting to pick up our feet. Slowly starting to find our way, really, in this crazy, crazy world. These three are still going at it. The factions are expanding. And I'm building civvies. I like infrastructure. Infrastructure is great. Hu Han Min passes away, which is bad because he was the leader of China. Um, and now it is very, very interesting to see what's going to happen. Is China going to stay one, or is China going to China and implode? I do wonder. I am intrigued. I'm a little bit scared of the outcome, but it is what it is. Um, but for today's episode, I'm hoping we can continue to grow. I will keep paying attention to what's happening around me. Um, the Republic of Belarusia are their own nation, and we also need to be scared of these guys down here. I still remember the time that we played Après Moi uh, Le Deluge, the original mod, way, way, way back. And... Um, it was these guys here, the anarchists in Ukraine, Nesta Makhno, was um, decided to, if I remember correctly, he went after Romania, he went after Belarus, and he went after Russia. He didn't live long, because after he took all the land, every other faction declared on him, but it was an impressive feat. But the radicals we need to watch out for, the anarchists we need to watch out for, because it's not just them, we've got the German ones too, and I think we've also got up here as well, the Quebecois. Andre Verrier, we're going to need to deal with him ASAP. I do have plans to get up here because after all, I said Norway, Vikings and all other territories that come under the banner in history, we will try to reclaim. So that obviously means this, 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 this and such, all of this really, um, along with these little diddly islands up top. Uh, Poland just went after Romania. Nice. <laughs> okay, well, that's a bit of an interesting outcome I wasn't necessarily expecting. So, the Magyars have teamed up together with Croatia. That's a new addition to the faction. And they've completely eaten Romania. Like, Poland got one province out of it. And they got, what was it, Bukovina. Everything else pretty much went to Magyar or Hungary. And uh, Iron, Ar Iron Guard Armenia under Octavian Goga has been puppeted by... Uh, the Polish. So they are directly controlled by the Polish. So although the Polish didn't necessarily come out with everything, they got a good thing going on. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about this because I thought the two tons would come out on top. Evidently, that's not going to be the case because um, Germany's looking pretty damn red. And I do not like this. The Vault Scammer. I, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. They are getting support though. They're getting support from the Caucasus, from the Baltics, from Ukraine. And from Quebec. Now, we obviously know about them. The Baltics over here. Oh, hello. I, I thought you weren't red, but you're very red. Villas Lacus. Okay. Interesting. And then the Caucasus. I don't know who Anastas is. Mikoyan. Oh, 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 oh. It's the guy from Mikoyan and Grievich. The, the, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. The, the, not the developers, the manufacturers. Is that the word I'm looking for? The manufacturers of MiG, the um, Air Force aircraft, MIG, MiG, uh, Mikoyan and Grievich. Is that who he is? I'm pretty sure that's who he is. And also, I don't know which mod it was. Was it, was it, was it, was it Saarreich? Or, sorry, not, it wasn't Kaiserreich. It wasn't the, uh, the Russian one. What one was it where they had the Caucasus nation that was led by Stalin? But he wasn't called Yosef Stalin. He was, he was called his, his Georgian name. I can't, ooh, I don't know the name of it and it's really bothering me now. I'm pretty sure it was the original Après Moi. Unless we just need to wait for Mickey Ann to go and then obviously, um, he'll take over. I'm intrigued to see. I'm very, very intrigued to see. Um, I'm also going to think about potentially starting up a spy network now. It is going to chew up my um, factories, which is, you know, not ideal because I do want to keep pumping these out as much as possible. However, however, I want to try and develop it as much as possible because um, I want to try and just de-radicalize the world just a little bit. So if I can, I want to turn these guys who aren't monarchist into monarchists. So these guys here, Windsor will stick, uh, stick Eddie on the throne. Uh, these guys here, I'll monarchize, monarchize them um, just to get rid of the anarchists because anarchists are scary. They, they just want to see the world burn. I, I'm not ready for that just yet. <laughs> oh, dearie me. I'll have these guys set up a front line just in case. Oh, dearie me. Why do anarchists just want to see everything burn, bro? Is there a need? Is there really a need? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a big one. Japan declares war on China. 
and I'm researching Cass for my favoured manufacturer. Brilliant. Okay, um, I'm going to go straight to fossil fuels, or do I want to go research industry? Industry Industry's probably going to be a good shout. I want to go over here now, actually, and start maybe going down my focus. Monarchist Drift. Yeah, Arist uh, aristocracy. Is it aristocracy or aristocracy? Aristocracy. Aristocrat. Ar aristocracy. That's right, isn't it? Which way, is the, what way do you pronounce it? That's what I want to know. I'm asking all the important questions over here. <laughs> uh, but as things stand over here, it's looking like a very much uh, stalemate for the moment, at least. International has been created. And I guarantee that's going to be a dodgy group filled with all the maniacs who just want to see the world burn. Is that right? Uh, no, 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 not just yet, it seems. Okay, if I go to factions, wait, let me click that again. Factions, factions, there we go, okay. So, um, oh, yeah, no, Republican International. Yeah, it was the Bal the Baltics. Um, hmm, intriguing. Uh, we've got the Latin Royalists, that's also a new faction going on. I'm very intrigued, I, I just hope. I really, 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 really hope that um, Britain's Commonwealth or Britain itself does not collapse. I mean, it'll be good for me in the long run because, you know, it means a cheap enemy that I can take land from. I'm not complaining on that front. But, 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 if I'm going to need allies to fend off the French, I'm kind of scared. Algonquin Republic. Um, That's not you. That's up here. Why are you guys joining the radicals? You're just natives. You're just chilling. You're not anarchists. Do you want to see the world burn? I don't think you do. Patrick, we need to have a word, bud. We need to have a word. A strong, strong word. A word that says no fire, please. Yeah, no, this is just getting scarier and scarier now. The Turks have joined in. Uh, the Ottomans have decided to sign on with the French. I'm genuinely starting to get concerned about this, uh, about this end result. Everything's just about to blow up. I don't even remember. Genuinely, I don't even remember how the um, how it played out in in Après Moi. So I don't even know how to prepare. Do I do I prepare for the Russians coming at me? Do I prepare for the French? Do I prepare for the anarchists? What do I prepare for? Who do I prepare for? I don't know, man. The tension is just too high. The tension is far far too high. Although, on the up note. I am starting to get manpower now, which is pretty pog. Um, this is good as well. Localized training centers. I need to just keep doing these things here. Um, and as I slowly progress, I will get a new operative fairly, fairly, fairly soon. Um, after the fifth upgrade, I'll get another one. So let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. After this, I'm going to get a new spy, which is great. Um, because then we can start setting our sights on people we want to convert away from anarchism. Because... The French can be my enemy, but they're a reasonable enemy. The anarchists, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Oh boy, it's all set up. It's, everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Right, the aristocracy is great because we've got drift and we've got gain. Divine right, I love that. Give me that PP and give me that stability. Um, uh, R R Russia... Um, <laughs> Russia just went to war with the anarchists. Um, they are now at war with the Caucasus. They are now with Belarus, and they are now at war with the Baltics. And I want to help out. I want to get involved. It won't let me join the faction though, because it needs to be eighty because I'm democratic, not monarchist. I reckon if I would have done a, a, a culture shift or a, an ideology shift before, um, then we'd be fine. Evidently, not so much, but that's fine, I guess. Um, I think for my next minister, I am gonna go ahead. Wait, supernatural mystic. Protection from curses? There's curses? Uh, okay. Uh, Righto. Okay, that's interesting. I do like this function, though. If you are a puppet, you can do autonomy progress, Grain. That's that's a cool... That, that's cool. I like that. That's pretty pog. Um, propaganda. Great war hero. No, I think I'm, I'm probably going to go with this guy here. Targe Tisanda. Or Tage. It's not going to be Tage. It's going to be Taj. Taj or Tage uh, to Sander for the Monarchist Drift. Which gives more, though. Which gives me more. Would it be uh, Landed Gentleman? No, it's 5-5. Five, five. Okay, that's fine. We'll go with Taj over early. Um, and I can do that right now. Awesome. Taj. Awesome. And I also need to get a um, research thing done right now. Um, I need this. Give me my Scania. 
I need to do my lorry deliveries. Right, okay, things are getting extra spicy. Like, extra, extra, extra spicy. I'm also going to go over here and go for um, Ole, just so I can get the resource gain and the monarchy drift on top of the monarchy drift I've already got, so we can speed that transition up. But um, America is going after Louisiana now. Um, it is a very, very interesting situation. Who's going to come out on top? Louis Bourbon, or is it going to be John? Good old John the second. Note of House Hamilton, John Hamilton the second. Good grief. I do wonder who's going to come out on top. I've got my money on federal rather than Louisiana. Um, how are we doing over here, Russia? Russia is losing. Um, okay. <laughs> Interesting. I can't say I didn't see it coming, which means we're going to get a commie. They're probably going to put a puppet regime or something on Russia. So we're going to be seeing a red Russia, I imagine. The Japanese are still in a stalemate. Yeah. Yeah, give or take. This is very stale, matey. Um, these guys are still at odds. Very, very even on the field of battle. The commies are now losing, which is fantastic. But it seems like the kingdom is going to win, which is bad because they're probably going to team up with the French. And I'm not sure. I'm happy about that. I can't scan. Um, <laughs> um, but all, all things stand, we seem to be doing okay. We finished Aristocracy, finished Divine Right, which gave us the ability and the PP. And now we're about to do Youth Organizations, which will give us 10 PP and it will give us 10 Recovery Rate, which is great. Um, I can choose which one of these to go down next. I can choose Corporalism, which will give us Factory Output, but an international, or oh, sorry, Ultra Nationalist Drift. Um, and then Leader Cult, which again, Population, great. Ultra Nationalist Drift, not so great. Or individualism, which will do democratic and research speed. Um, I'm a little bit confuzzled on which one to side with. I am leaning a little bit more towards this one, though, because I do need the manpower. I'd be lying if I said I didn't. Um, having a look down here, we also do have a few claims. We can claim on the Baltics as our neighbours. We can claim on Northern Germany, claim on Finland, and claim on Britain. Um, I'm a little bit confused as to which one to go for. But we'll just have to rock and roll and go as we can. But that's going to be all for today's episode. So I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to, of course, click that like button and or subscribe. Share with friends or grow for the channel. All that fun stuff. And uh, join us in the next episode where, I don't know, will we go after Russia? I don't think I can go after Russia. I, I kind of want to leave them alone for the moment. My main focus... Ooh, thanks. Uh, Landsberg, cool. Um... <laughs> <laughs> My main um, goal right now is just converting to uh, Bernadotte, House Bernadotte Gustav, just so that we can then start justifying and maybe spreading things out a little bit. I, I do want to have a look at the head count of what's going on over here. Oh, boy. This is why I don't like radicals. Man, the, 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 the size, just the sheer size of their armed forces alone. It's scary times, bro. It's scary times. But maybe I can help Russia by getting my spies to work on and maybe cause a propaganda rebellion. Maybe. We'll see. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!